If you've been fully vaccinated, your days of wearing a mask indoors may finally be over. Yeah, the CDC is easing requirements for most workplaces and schools. And for some parents of students in Hamilton County schools, that can't happen fast enough. News 12's Brian Armstrong joins us live in the studio with tonight's top local story. Dozens of parents chanted outside the school board meeting to make mask optional for their kids in school today. We parents of Hamilton demand a vote today to end this mask BS today. But that vote failed five to three and will require kids to wear masks for the last nine days of school. Some parents claim masks don't do anything to prevent COVID and it hurts kids from being able to breathe. Because the masks don't work. They don't do nothing. They don't stop. They don't stop the spread of COVID. They you still get COVID with the mask on. Children is less than 10%. Um, there's studies in the UK and Australia to show that it is less than 10% of student to student transfer. Justin Wilkins says he wants kids to wear masks until they are able to be fully vaccinated. He says his kids hate wearing masks, but until enough people can be vaccinated, they feel it's the right thing to do. My kids don't like wearing masks either, but they understand that wearing the masks and the requirements aren't some infringement on their liberty destroying America, but they're there to protect their classmate, you know, who may be vulnerable or have an immune condition. Rhonda Thurman, Joe Smith and Steve Highlander voted to make mask optional. As I was leaving the school board meeting, I heard a few anti mask protesters saying they were likely going to send their kids to school tomorrow without a mask because it can't be enforced. Reporting live in studio, Brian Armstrong, News 12 Now.